a firm, that's what, that's what I say, because that's in the Bible, you know. Mm. And well, there's no law. Well, there is. No, it isn't. There, there is. is. A force that you might speak in such a fact. Yeah, a kind of the pair are now being prosecuted for a public order offence when someone feels insulted for their membership of a religious group. A devout Christian couple who run a hotel in Liverpool have been cleared of insulting a Muslim guest. It's no longer a crime to even say that homosexuality is a sin. It's not a crime. Well, is it? That's probably going to fall under Section 5 of public order notice. Like me, you're probably concerned by a string of cases where Christians have been investigated by the police and in some cases charged with a crime simply for expressing their beliefs. But it's not just Christians who are having their opinions policed. In 2008, a 16-year-old boy was charged with a crime simply because he used the word cult to describe Scientology. In that case, and in all the cases referred to in this video, the police used Section 5 of the Public Order Act. Now that's because under Section 5, it is a criminal offence to use insulting words or behaviour in a way that's likely to cause distress to someone. Now that law applies only in England and Wales. I'm a Christian, and no genuine Christian would ever want to go around insulting people, but I also know that my Christian beliefs can sometimes be regarded as offensive to someone who opposes my faith. But that shouldn't be a matter for the police. Lively debate, a robust exchange of ideas, they're all a healthy part of the rough and tumble of living in a democracy. Yet, in numerous cases, the police have used Section 5 offences to censor free speech. That's why we are joining with others in asking the government to repeal the word insulting from Section 5 of the Public Order Act. It's not just us saying this. The civil rights group Justice has called for this change in the law and so too has Parliament's Joint Committee on Human Rights. Both those groups believe that the word insulting should be repealed. Our policemen and women are brave people who put themselves in harm's way to keep us safe. It's right and it's important that they have sufficient powers to deal with genuine public disorder. But repealing the word insulting from Section 5 offences wouldn't interfere with that vital work. The police have many other powers that they can use. They have breach of the peace powers and they have laws against harassment. And the use of threatening or abusive words or behaviour would continue to be a criminal offence. But I don't think the police should be getting involved just because someone else feels insulted by someone else's opinion. John Bunyan, the famous 17th century author of The Pilgrim's Progress, had the idea for his book while in prison for preaching without a licence. Are we seriously returning to the days when a Christian can be arrested for preaching from the Bible in a public place? There is something you can do to help, but the time to act is now. You may know that the coalition government will soon publish a Freedom Bill. The purpose of that bill is to repeal laws that unjustly interfere with civil liberty. We think repealing the word insulting from Section 5 of the Public Order Act would be a great idea to include in that bill. At the moment, there's no firm proposal from the government to do this, but we know that the idea has broad support right across the political parties. So, can I encourage you to go and visit your MP about this matter? Tell your MP that the Freedom Bill should repeal the word insulting from Section 5 of the Public Order Act. Please take action today. A successful result on this issue now could help protect freedom of speech for a generation to come. Our brave police officers have many important jobs to do, but policing debate isn't one of them. People should be free to disagree. <laughs>